Hey friends, so I'm back today. I want to do a quick little DIY. I just did a DIY on my other channel and I was like, you know, I should do a DIY for this channel. I actually had planned it, but um, I wanted to see if it worked first. So, well, if it was going to work. So if you see anything just like lingering here on my table, this is the craft table, the nail table, and the plan with me table. <laughs> so, I got these bows. Let me zoom in a little bit. From am I straight? Uh, okay, whatever. I got these bows from Five and Below about a week or two ago, and I looked at them and I was like, "Oh, I can see those in my planner." Well, they are hair clips or whatever. So I took this one off. So you see, you have this on the back. Let me do it again, so you all can see what I'm doing. And so you're just going to take it apart. And I thought about selling them, but I just felt like that just wouldn't be right. Because it's something I want you all to be able to do yourself. And I'll probably never run across this material. And if I do, that's something different. So, you're going to kind of pull it apart. <clears throat> I actually cut the last one. So let me just keep wiggling. Let me try to cut it. Hold on. Let me get some scissors. Oh, here goes some. So you're going to cut... See right here, let's zoom, hold on, you're going to cut right there. So on the side I have my glue gun heating up, and then you're going to move it apart, so you see it comes apart, now the other one was a little better, but you just got to keep kind of tugging at it to get it off of the thing here. You may have to cut it again, but I suggest tugging. That's how I did the last one because you're going to need that material. There we go. So let's cut that off. All right. <clears throat> so your bow is pretty much complete for you. And all you got to do is glue it back. And now it's a freestanding bow without this. So all they do is just super glue that on or with the hot glue gun. So now what we're going to do, decide which way you want your paper clip to go. You can slip your paper clip in there like that. And this would be the bottom of the paper clip. And then what you're going to do, make sure you have it right. Slide it some more because we need to move this material now. And see, the only thing is I have nails, so it's a little difficult. So we're going to sit it right there. And then we're going to add some glue. Can you all see? Let me zoom a little bit more. So I did a little dollop of glue. And then now I'm going to just pull it up and pull the paper clip down. And just kind of hold it for a second. Okay. And then it should be dry. Then you're going to take your second piece. You're going to add another dot of glue. And I'm just going to take, because I, like I said, I was doing another project. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this pick here and just kind of hold that in place. Oh. And then kind of straighten the other part. And it should be tight. And you want to make sure that it's tight so that you get that bow effect so that it's back in a bow. And there you have it. So we're going to let it dry a little bit. And we're going to stick it into. Oh, and you want to try another color? So we've done one. Let me get some more um, paper clips. Oh, so there we have another paper clip. Let's try the black one. So again, I'm just going to rip. Let me zoom out a little bit. Sort of focus. I'm just going to rip. Unless you want to keep that, just tug away. 
because this material is kind of hard and kind of stiff. So, and the way they glued that on. So again, so you can see here, it's all, let me zoom. If you can see here, it's already um, cut. So you kind of want to cut, I cut here, but this one they did a little different. So I'm going to cut here. So there we go. And then you can kind of see the glue. So this one, I hope I didn't mess up, but it's okay. So we just see how that one just came right off. So we want to glue that back. So let's just take, first let's find, get our paper clip. Put it on right however we want it to go. Want it to go like that. So I'm going to add a dollop of glue. I have to flip it around so I can make sure that that is in there. So let's add a little bit of glue here. Again, taking my little pick. Something stuff is just falling. So we're just going to hold it there for a second. And if you want to, you can take the other piece while you still have that glue and close it. So I use, at first I would use Dollar Tree glue um, when I first started making my bows. <clears throat> but whenever I make something, I like to do a wear test and, you know, before I sell it to anyone and see how it holds up. And I started using Gorilla Glue for um, my bows. And I noticed they lasted longer than my first set of bows I did. So, here you go. It looks like that. Isn't it? And the black is pretty too. Now, I didn't do like I did the other one where I added the glue here to kind of hold it in place so it's kind of just moving. So, that's up to you. Because I'm the type of person I like to switch things up. So it's just going to move. So this one is like flimsy. And this one is like pretty much stable. So if you don't want it to be flimsy. Let me, now I got to add some glue. But this one was like a total different. So just go back in there. If it's too flimsy for you. Just go back in and add some glue. And just hold it in place. Until it dries. Let it sit. And so while that's drying, so now we have two more. Let me zoom out. We have two more. So if y'all see all kinds of stuff on my table, we did a, a DIY for my other channel. So if y'all want to see it, let me show you while that's drying. I just did this DIY. Let me back up. On my other channel, it's a little Easter kind of basket for your table. So I'll drop the link in the description box below. So that's why I have some other stuff out. So this should be dry. Yeah, it's dry. So now it's not flimsy. So now it's just not moving everywhere. So there you go. There are your DIY planner bows. So let me show you how. Let's add them to my social media planner. I think I'm trying to decide which one now this one I made, I made by hand. So that wasn't as easy. This one wasn't as easy as these. So let me find out where I'm at. And I think I'm going to do a flip through of my social media planner. So there it is. Let's zoom in how pretty she is. Isn't that pretty? So let's see what it looked like for this one. So to me it's the most simplest way to... Um, add a bow, you know. So maybe I should show you with the ring, like with the C ring, like if you have a traveler's notebook, because I don't want to leave y'all out. Um, but if you are a traveler's notebook, I'll tell you what to do. How about that? You'll do the same thing, but you're going to get a jump ring. Let me see if I have a jump ring in here. Okay, here. Here we go. I just wanted to see if I had a bigger jump ring. This is my little, um, where I plan, well, not plan, but where I make my 
bows and stuff like that. Okay, I see I have some jewels in here I haven't used. But this is a jump ring. Let me zoom in. That piece, that round piece. And you can typically find those at Joann's and Michael's, depending on the size. And so that's what you would use instead of the paper clip. So you would put the jump ring. Let me move this out the way. Or here's another jump ring. This is what I use. So here's one of my bows from my store. And this is another jump ring. But there is no opening. So it's just like closed. You don't no way for it to like add anything, but you can slide it through your string on your traveler's notebook so that it comes square they also have round ones silver ones but this is like my favorite so this bow i sell in my store but you get the jump ring add the jump ring where you would put the paper clip and you're good to go so oh yeah so this is what the jump ring looks like on a bow here's one of my bows it's got a so that jump ring part there. So you would use that to do just like I showed you with the paper clip. So if you have a travel notebook, just add the jump ring and that will slide right on through. So I hope you guys liked this video. And here she is. Let me zoom out a little bit. So let's see what she looks like sitting up. Ooh, pretty. So it's hard to tell. So to be honest with you, because I'm not selling any of my bows, I may just be buying my bows to just like put in my planner that's easier, but I do enjoy making the bows. But this is a very quick way to add an accessory uh, to your planner. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Talk to you later. Bye.